Oh guys, we first JD and we're back with the squad builder after finishing I Want To Be A Millionaire and this squad costs you around 23 grand, maybe even less if you can get some of the players cheaper than what's shown here and it's a Brazilian 5 star skill team, it has 6 5 star skillers in it and we'll go through from the defence now, in net we have Fabio, very good keeper, 85 reflexes and 73 speed which I believe is one of the fastest on the game, he's amazing at saving close range shots and just that's what most people do online so it's very good keeper to have it right back we have Raphael 84 pace very good for a full back and centre back we've got Dede the fastest Brazilian centre back with 81 pace what a monster <laughs> well fastest cheap centre back should I say because obviously Thiago Silva's ahead of him then to partner him is Rever just another Liga do Brazil to get that extra chemistry and he's got 72 pace not that bad but could do better Fabio at left back with 83 pace, but sometimes I like to pop on the sub Rafinha for him because he's got a nice little shot. Then the two CDMs are the most expensive players. Ganzo is the first one, at five grand. And you want to buy these CDMs in a centre mid or CDM position. You want to change them from CM to CDM because that costs about 300 coins. Whereas if you bought them in their original position, which is centre attacking mid, it costs about 5k to change them to centre mid. You don't want to waste your coins like that. The other sentiment to partner him is Ronaldinho, who has an absolute beast free kick, an 89 dribbling. Although he lacks pace, him and Ganzo, they're still good in the defensive role. And the attacking right, centre attacking mid, sorry, messing up there, Alex. And he's got 72 pace, not bad, but he's got a left footed shot and his shot is 82. He also has a cracking free kick as well as Ronaldinho to change things up with a left foot. Marquisiol is the left centre attacking mid, he's got 84 pace and obviously these vulgar 5 star skills I'm mentioning now from Ganzo onwards. Wallison, what a centre forward he is with 91 pace, only got a 69 shot but he can still score some cracking goals. And then up front, who we had last year, Rafael Sobis, absolute monster he is. Then on the bench we have Rafinha I mentioned before, Jeremel, cheap centre back. Diego Souza, you can really, the slower ones you can replace with the CDMs, Ronaldinho, etc. Elkerson, another centre attacking mid, Roger, Felipe, and also El Zinho, who can play in either the centre forward or the striker role when you need rotation. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll just leave you with some goals. Before the ball's kicked, uh, can you split them, these two teams, and what we might be about to see? It is difficult when you look at it at this point, but so often happen. Oh, it has to be. Goes for goal. Oh, it's in there. Imagine they've been shot from unlikely angles at times and distances when they might have just kept possession. Rafael Sobis. Pass one defender. Here he is with a chance. It's a goal on that level. Stepped in to stop the pass. He's in at goal. And he goes for goal. And they've scored the equaliser. Just reminding the player of his responsibilities. Yeah, I hope the ref doesn't get into trouble for his superiors for that. He was just using common sense. Well, they have taken the lead. Organised here, or they could be in real trouble. Well, we've been looking forward to this, Alan. The sides do look pretty... In and he's put it in for the goal. Positional play. Nice strike. It's there. What a chance. They've got in to score here. Left the defenders trailing now. Here's a chance. And they've scored. That will end the threat. And he's going to shoot. Well, they're level. And where did that come from? They've got the goal. Going for power from long range. And what a shot. What a goal. 